I have been a, an Acumen member of the Tucson community for the past 10 years. I am also an out-of-state student at the Pima Community College, looking forward to going to the medical field. In May of 2009, I graduated from Mount High High School and was awarded the Pima Merit Scholarship Award. I was very excited for the opportunity of attending college and looking forward to a new life filled with new experiences and chances for personal and educational growth. Even before graduating, I had already registered to be a full-time student and was planning on starting my first semester at the college on the fall. But as soon as I filled that Pima Tuition Assessment form, my expectations for the, for the upcoming semester dramatically shifted. Under Proposition 300, I was immediately classified as an out-of-state student and, was, and for the past three years, I have been paying non-resident tuition. Um, I'm struck as I stand here as a, as a community member and a community member of Sunnyside. I'm the proud superintendent of the Sunnyside Unified School District. I'm serving in my sixth year uh, in that district. I'm proud to be here with one of my governing board members, Ms. Eva Dong. I'm proud to be here with the student who spoke from Desert View, and I'm sure many friends from Sunnyside and students that have graduated from our district are, are in the audience as well. I'm here with our Director of College Readiness, N.J. Utter, and I am here uh, thanking you for the numerous partnerships we have enjoyed with Pima Community College over the years. But I'm also here as a community member of our community. Um, our community of Sunnyside, our community of Tucson, our community of Pima, and our community in the state of Arizona. Very often in my last six years, there have been very difficult times being a community member in Arizona. There have been many legislations that have been against undocumented students, against immigrants, against teachers, and against Latinos. And today, I am very, very proud to be part of the state of Arizona, to be part of a community college that's even considering and looking at this issue to be part of a Latino community that is articulating their passion and their wisdom and their request and to be, to be proud to be a Latino today. I'm proud that we as a Sunnyside School District, we never ask who's documented or undocumented, both by state statute and by our moral compass. We are often challenged to work with our young children as they become young adults in high school. And it is then in high school that we can no longer help them as they, for the first time, are faced with the undocumented challenge. And is that's why we're here tonight. We're here tonight to really say to you, and I know you know this, I truly believe this is a defining moment for our community. It's a defining moment for community, for Pima Community College. It's a defining moment for you to set your moral compass for this community and allow for many, many years in the past and the future undocumented students to take full advantage of not only the economic opportunities that have been so clearly articulated, both for you, for increased students, for them, for increased economic power and education, and increased economic opportunity for this community. I mean, there's so many right ways to do this, and I believe right now it shouldn't be that difficult. It also strikes me that as we look at this, that we look at it for logistical reasons as well, and the sense of urgency cannot be lost on us. And that, to that end, I say this. We are also requesting that Pima Community College do the following in your consideration. One, approve in-state tuition for students who are eligible for deferred action for their child arrivals. Two, reclassify current students as they receive or qualify for DACA status making them immediately <laughs> eligible for in-state tuition. Three, ensure that all DACA students are eligible for PCC scholarships currently available to in-state <laughs> tuition residents. Four, allow dual enrollment students for all students currently enrolled in Pima Community High Schools to be currently eligible for in-state credit and in-state tuition. And last, and probably the most important, is to communicate these in a timely manner in the change of policy, Celebrate your decision, let us celebrate with you, and celebrate the future of the students in this community. Thank you very much. We have a motion, a second, and then discussion, so that's, that's exactly what we will do. 
Is there a motion? Yes. I move that the Board of Governors approve in-state resident tuition rates for eligible participants in the U.S. Government Superior Action for Calgary Libels Program as recommended by Interim Council Miles. Second. We're ready. Okay. Then I am going to call for a vote. And um, I would like to ask all those in favor of this motion to have in-state tuition for our DAPA students. Would you please signify by saying aye. 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 And are there any opposed to this particular item? I am opposed. All right. So the motion passes. Woo!